I am so curious about Inverness. I only got here last night, so I rented a car from Edinburgh uh, and I drove because this is a three hour drive distance from Edinburgh north to Inverness. So I wasn't sure about looking for public transport or looking for trains or buses that would take me there. And I also didn't want to didn't want to grab an Uber for such a long drive. It just felt like it's gonna make more sense to just drive myself there and you know to have like that full freedom of going where i want to go and exploring um, the highlands of scotland with a with a car and i really feel like i'm gonna need that car here because while i do have i do have a, a tour booked for for tomorrow but there are also other other places around that i really want to see like the battlefield of culloden and i feel like having a having a car and just driving there myself is just gonna be the easiest way to uh, to get there sorry i was asking if you wanted one and then there's two gas in charge of mm. oh right lovely coffee <laughs> speaking of renting a car in scotland i actually got upgraded <laughs> they gave me a mercedes i wasn't going to get a mercedes um because particularly the newer ones have like so many are so computerized and everything is different than in a standard car you know you don't have a handbrake you just have a button and you know things like that so what happened was I ordered a GPS with the car and they must have made a mistake because they were going to give me a car without a GPS. So then they were looking for a way to give me a car with an inbuilt GPS and I think the only option what they had was for that beautiful Mercedes. <laughs> so I ended up with a wonderful upgrade that took me a good 15 minutes to actually learn like everything and find all the options and all the right buttons so I could actually drive it. But then the drive um, in a Mercedes through Scotland has been a, a was a real a real treat. Thank you. 